Today I'm doing some retainer reviews and I want to introduce to you one of the phase one retainers that I use. Uh, this is called a Bionator. To open, there's a Bionator closed. Now this young lady has a class two jaw with an open bite. So her phase one treatment involved developing the upper arch to make room for her teeth and then partial bracketing. So that's the end of phase one. Have, have a look at uh, uh, those teeth to maintain it. We use this retainer. So this retainer, look at the design. It's got a labial bow, right? It's got a ramp to keep that mandible forward to encourage more class two growth. We have acrylic covering the posterior teeth because I don't want the posterior teeth to erupt. For every millimeter the posterior teeth erupt, you're gonna worsen the open bite and cause more class two backward rotation. So this uh, is called a binator. Now this binator is designed to close the open bite, right? So it's called a binator to close. And the binator to close has a couple of um, uh, options, right? Now can I get you to click that in for me, please? Thank you. So Nina wears this at home and at night after phase one. Uh, that's it, have a look here. Can you see how there's nothing preventing the incisors erupting? So the incisors continue to erupt as the mandible is held forward. That deepens the bite. Uh, just hit it this way for me. And you see the acrylic on the posterior teeth, that's acting as a posterior bite plate. So posterior coverage, no anterior coverage. That differentiates this from a bionator to open. So the difference between a bionator to close, which is this bionator, versus a bionator to open, is the acrylic. Acrylic at the front here for a bionator that's going to open a deep bite, no acrylic for a bionator that's gonna close an open bite. Both are used in class two, right? So when I do lectures on phase one, we have the class three phase ones, which I use a Frankel. The class two phase ones, I either use a bionator like this, which is to close for a high angle class two, um, particularly the VME, for a deep bite, like a div two, after phase one, I use a bionator to open. It's very rare I use a neutral bionator, uh, but let's just say you had a patient who was class two with a neutral vertical, that would be the neutral design. And the neutral design would have acrylic on the incisors and on the posteriors, because you're maintaining the vertical dimension. So if you want more information on bionators, send me an email and I'm happy to give you that, but it's a perfect phase one retainer. If you have a good patient who wears it, it really helps with further growth of the lower jaw as the child gets older.